William Eggleston was born in Memphis, Tennessee in the year 1939. Growing up, he loved music and art, but he never really tried out photography until he was in college. Widely known for his photographs in the Deep South, he uses everyday scenes and ordinary subjects to highlight his style of photography. His work became an important part of the recognition of color photography as an accepted and legitimate art form. Much of his work is displayed in art galleries and art museums around the world, including in the U.S., Europe, South America, and Asia. Eggleston's use of intense saturation in his images makes the viewer feel like they are standing at the scene of the photo. Many of his photographs are dye transfer prints, and those are the images I have chosen to focus on in this presentation. Today, Eggleston's images are even used on album covers, with the most recognized one being in 2001, when the band Jimmy Eat World used Eggleston's photograph titled Memphis for their top-selling album Bleed American. This image from 1996 captures a series of bowling trophies sitting on top of a cigarette machine, and it creates an aesthetically evaluative photo. The diffused lighting creates soft textures and subtle detail, and the style of the cigarette machine, as well as the blue background, seem to bring the viewer back to symbolize a simpler, peaceful time. This untitled photograph by Eggleston from his Dust Bells V2 portfolio was captured in the year 1970. What we are seeing in this photo is an open door with a poster hanging on a wall in the hallway. The poster seems to be the main subject of the photo, and the image seems to be interpretive as the viewer would have to interpret the message that the photograph is portraying. The monochromatic color of orange was emphasized in this image, and the use of dark and light tones makes the poster on the wall stick out, and the use of a low perspective angle gives the poster an important or dominant position. This untitled photo, which was taken in 1965, comes from Eggleston's portfolio, Los Alamos, and it contains a group of baby dolls sitting on top of the hood of an old Cadillac. This image is theoretical and is an attempt at creating conceptual art. The theatrical aspect of putting baby dolls on top of a car is Eggleston's own spin on art. Although it is theoretical, this image can also be interpretive due to the lack of information, so the viewer has to make up a meaning on their own about what the image truly represents. The last photograph that I chose to present was this photo, taken in 1971, titled Outskirts of Morton, Mississippi, Halloween. This image shows the viewer three boys dressed up on Halloween night standing in the street. The backlight of a gloomy sky produces diffused light and provides little detail or texture. The image gives off an ominous or creepy look as the purple sky is painted next to dark shadowy trees, which allows the viewer to connect the image with Halloween night. Eggleston uses the rule of odds as he captures the three subjects in the image. The uneven height of the subjects draws the viewer's eyes across the image so it can fully be observed. Although this image can seem like an ordinary picture of kids, the composition and lighting make it differ from other artists' work. In a time when photography was mostly in black and white, Eggleston captured images in color because that is what he enjoyed, and it changed photography as a whole, and changed how people viewed photographs to this day. While capturing the ordinary and everyday lives of people, Eggleston broadened the scope of photography, and by using light, color, composition, and position, he made the ordinary photographs look extraordinary, and this is what made him stand out from any other photographers. His work shows that ordinary life can in fact be beautiful with the right amount of perspective.